Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Ask Trainer Chris podcast where you can get your fitness questions answered. So my name is Chris Janke Bueno. I'm a personal trainer since 2004 in San Jose, California. I also have an online program through mycorebalance.com. It's specifically for beginners. And uh, the question today is about stretching. So really interesting actually. A lot of people have been asking me about this this particular week. Um, just about how valuable stretching is, the best technique to stretch. And you know, there's a lot of different ways, of course. There's a lot of ways. So in no, in no way am I saying that what I'm about to say is the best way. I just haven't heard it talked about very often. And what it is is a combination between foam rolling and static stretching. So the, the, the specific exercise that I like to use in order to kind of assess how tight you are and how much you need the um, foam roller or you can use a little ball or anything to kind of dig in to your hip or your IT band. I like to use the hip crossover stretch. So I originally found this stretch through Igoscu, the Igoscu method. Uh, Pete Igoscu wrote a great book called Pain Free. Check that out if you haven't read it. This stretch is a great diagnostic tool that I've found in the last week or two to assess which part of your hip or lower back or leg is tight. So what you do is you're going to lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. You're going to cross your right ankle over your left knee and then from there you're going to rotate your legs down to the left so that once you rotate the outside of your left leg and the bottom of your right foot is on the floor. So let me repeat that real quick. Right ankle over left knee, then you're rotating to the left so that the outside of the left leg and the bottom of the right foot are on the floor. I know it's a little bit like playing twister, especially without the visual, but hopefully you got that. Once you are there, your job is to pay attention to how the right side of your body feels, the part that's closer to the ceiling. So do you feel tightness in the right knee? Do you feel it in the right upper leg? Do you feel the lower back, the hip? What area of the right side do you feel the most? Now you're gonna have some, something like a tennis ball or a handball or a lacrosse ball, something like that handy so that you can put that ball on the area that's tight. So you're, once you get the assessment, you get the diagnostic, you're gonna rotate out of it and you're gonna rotate onto the ball on what's tight just for about 20 seconds. And you're gonna do the diagnostic stretch again. And you're gonna keep doing this until you've really gotten rid of all the tightnesses in your body. Then you're going to repeat on the other side. Other stretches that you can do this with are uh, the quad stretch. So you can do a quad stretch lying face down on the floor. And again, you're using the stretch as kind of a diagnostic tool. And then once you pinpoint which part of the quad uh, is tight, uh, at that point you will um, you will then uh, roll the roll the ball on that part of the of the quad and then you're going back and forth. So you only need, regardless of what stretch you're doing, on the stretch you only need a good five seconds to figure out what part is the tightest. And then the ball rolling, 20 to 30 seconds is all you need, sometimes even less than that. So it, this is very quick. You can get this done. Each stretch could take one to two minutes. And I find that this is a lot faster than simply stretching because you are pinpointing the part of the leg that you actually need to stretch the part of that muscle. I mean, think of your quad muscle. Your quad might be 18 inches long, maybe two feet long. And uh, you know, most of your quad might be nice and loose and supple, but there's that one little spot that's really tight. So this helps you kind of pinpoint that. I think it's also quicker than foam rolling because again, you don't have to take your time and go up and down the entire leg. So hopefully that made sense to you in the, audio, uh, the audio only. Uh, I believe, actually, you know what? Earlier today I did a, a Facebook Live on this. So check out my Core Balance Facebook page uh, today, March 2nd, 2018, and check out our live video on that. And so, yeah, that's it. Thanks for listening. That was the answer to the question about stretching. What's the best stretching method, technique, blah, blah, blah. And again, not saying it is necessarily the best, but I think that's a very uh, quick, easy, efficient strategy to combine the best of what's out there. Thanks again for listening. This is Chris Janky Bueno, Ask Trainer Chris Podcast, again at mycorebalance.com.
The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.